पल्स ऑफ विजडम बाय लिंडा बॉन्ड यू हो ग्रैंडमा इट्स ओनली मी रोज आर कॉल्ड बसलिंग इन द लाइट एंड वार्म ऑफ द रूम इन द स्मॉल स्टोन कॉटेज मम सेंड यू सम बीफ शी डम्प हर बास्केट ऑन द सॉलिड ओक टेबल हंग हर रेड क्लॉक ऑन द बैक ऑफ द डोर एंड स्मूथ इट डाउन हर ब्लू चेक्ड स्कूल ड्रेस बिफोर बीजिंग हर सेल्फ बाय द ह्यूज आर एंड बैट स्टेट ऑन द फार साइड ऑफ द रूम हेयर ग्रैंडमा क्रूंड रोजा प्रॉपिंग द ओल्ड डियर अप ऑन द प्लम्ड पिलोज यू आर सो बॉर्निंग शी रिमार्कड शल आई गेट यू सन स्ट्यू नो थैंक्स चाइल्ड आई विल ईट लेटर बाग्ड ग्रैंडमा हर वॉइस डीप एंड ट्यूनलेस लाइक अ सेक्स ऑफ ऑन फुल ऑफ ग्रेवल ओ and jack got you some more of that chicken broth for your sore throat rosa continued pulling back the covers to reveal a thin bandaged leg poking abruptly from an ankle length pure white night gown blasted would cut her and his meddling axe groaned grandma inspecting the wounded leg with wide eyed fearful curiosity what was that asked rosa absent mindedly i said that's good dear your mom and jack permanent is it they are so embarrassing rosa blushed they don't even notice me when they are doing all the kissy stuff she tutted your legs still swollen she remarked neat fingers picking and pulling at the blood stained bandage Tell me about the outside world child I sit here alone all day Grandma winced as Rosa cleaned the wound You know Tom Godby the minister's son Rosa said coyly That great lumbering fool Grandma folded scrawny arms across her chest Well interrupted Rosa breathlessly I think he is going to ask me tonight and if he does i shall say yes she took a deep breath and continued grandma you know how mum feels about the minister tis the minister's job to punish unmerited sinners child in a theatrical flourish grandma crossed herself and put her hands together in prayer for a moment rosa stopped and stared open mouthed then she noticed the twinkle in grandma's eyes they erupted in girly giggles a soprano and a baritone in simultaneous harmony i hope you don't mind continued rosa regardless i have asked tom to meet me here grandma took a deep breath and long black tongue flicked across her lips can i get changed here grandma it won't take a moment then i will get you a supper her grandmother nodded her consent thanks grandma she gave her grandmother's thin bony hair hand an excited squeeze remind me to trim your nails before i go she remarked casually rosa quickly changed behind the curtain that separated the living and sleeping areas of the cottage well will i do she said reappearing with a dancer's twirl like a lamb to the slaughter muttered grandma grimly what did you say puzzled rosa like a bride at the altar child you looked good enough to eat she rummaged around under her mattress and pulled out a string of pearls shiny and translucent white in the candlelight they are a family heirloom child about time you had them grandma they are so beautiful rosa held it to her neck do it up for me please i call them my pearls of wisdom child explained grandmother fumbling clumsily with a clasp 24 pearls all individually selected by me rosa walked over to the wardrobe and admired the pearls each pearl shone as if it had a life of its own 
each slightly different in color and luster, each as beautiful as the next. The powerful beauty of the necklace made Rosa feel different, altered and perceptive. The room seemed to shimmer and ripple as a pebble thrown into a pond. It shifted and changed like a theater curtain lifting to reveal a new scene. And what a scene! Rosa noticed the dark, dirty poverty of the room. The bony leftovers of meals strewn in dank corners. The stink of animal that almost made her wretch. Grandma, your ears, your teeth, they all are different. This was the last remark she ever made. Walking nervously through the darkening forest, Tom Goodby thought he heard the scream of a barn owl. He did not notice the swelled figure of a wolf limping off into the trees. He did not hear the choking sound as the wolf coughed up a blonde hairball and picked a small white pearl from the center of it. Twenty-five, noted the wolf, threading a new pearl onto his necklace. Now to find twenty-six. End of the story. Pulse of Wisdom.